I thought at our age, life would slow down. Not with everything we need to coordinate. My overtime, his basketball league. My podiatrist and her PT. His colonoscopy. Her allergist. We need to be in two places at once, which is no problem, because the Iowa Clinic has over 40 specialties all in one place. So when our doctors want to coordinate our care, they just talk to each other. Our doctors work together to figure out the best care for us, so we can go back to our busy lives. They're juggling our doctors, our careers. Our grandchild. Care how you want it. Visit iowaclinic.com. All right, guys, it's time for your game day preview show here. Iowa State at Kansas today. Big 12 road opener for the Cyclones. Coming off of that tough loss to Baylor. Biggest question for today, how good is Kansas? Kind of the darling of college football. Iowa State comes in today as a three-point favorite. How does Iowa State get out of Lawrence, a game that we all thought would be a 20-point spread to start the season? Nuh-uh. The Jayhawks are 4-0 with a quarterback that's a Heisman contender. Who in the world saw this coming? Here's your top five as we count down to the 230 kick. I think Iowa State needs to get out to an early lead. When I look back at the Baylor game, what's the difference in the two quarterbacks, you say? I mean, clearly Blake Shapin outplayed Hunter Deckers in that football game, right? We all watched it. Well, he also had a cushion, right? Young quarterback, good defense. He had a cushion. Iowa State needs to, it seems like even in the wins this year, and I'm talking basically the Iowa and Baylor games, right? Because the other two aren't, they don't count. There has been struggling to get and maintain momentum. I think that's key here for a lot of different reasons. One, you can make Kansas doubt yourself, but two, I think it makes life a lot easier on your young quarterback who's got some turnover problems right now on the road get out to an early lead what else will that do we move it to number four it's going to make kansas have to throw the football right so daniels the quarterback absolute stud he's plus three thousand to win the heisman right now that's insanity if you figure out like what it would have been like a month ago he would not have been on the board i want him to have to make plays with his arm he's got four rushing touchdowns on the air And gosh darn it, he's been really good through the air as well. But we saw this last week with Deckers. You take the run out of it, bada boom, you can sit back a little bit. It makes Iowa State's dime stack defense a lot more complicated and a lot more effective. I want to get him down a couple of touchdowns early, make Kansas come back through the air. I like Iowa State's chances to you know force some turnovers if that's the case number three will be the running game so if you get out to that early lead you want to be able to work some clock right iowa state's running game listen baylor pretty good giving up 2.5 yards per carry on the season so that's a pretty elite rush defense you're talking about top six in the country iowa state was not able to effectively run the football consistently specifically in the second half last week and again, we go back to Hunter Deckers and the turnover problems. Make life easier on your quarterback. That, and if you can get out to that lead, I would like to cl- kill some clock, personally. That would be a beneficial thing for Iowa State. Kansas' defense giving up 6.3 yards per carry. Boy, if you can go out there and average 5, 6 yards per rush, Iowa State is winning this football game. Number two, and I have to put it in here, and I don't know, I don't want to talk about it. I'm tired of talking about it. You guys are tired of hearing about it. It's special teams, right? I talk about special teams. Don't lose the game on special teams. Matty Van Winkle's my producer. I think Matt just might have to put special teams is at number two for the rest of the year. Don't lose the gosh darn football game on special teams, especially when you're on the road. Only a three-point favorite. Not a lot of margin for error here. Last week was a little better. So let's do that two weeks in a row. And number one is turnovers, folks. We we do have to acknowledge that we've got a situation at quarterback where Iowa, Iowa State's turning the football over too much. Five interceptions through four games right now for Hunter Deckers. Uh, the Iowa game, listen, it's kind of a wash for most of those because he made plays when he needed to. Everybody turns the football over against the Hawkeyes. I get it. Last week was a little bit different. Wasn't great decision-making specifically in that third quarter. Their quarterback was better than our quarterback. He's got to knock off the turnovers when you get into Big 12 play. Because, listen, you look up and down at this league, right, and there's not a lot of teams that are a lot better or a lot worse than the other team. And that started last week. 
Iowa State made more mistakes. They lost the football game. Exact same scenario here. You're a three-point favorite, except this time you're on the road. You're playing at a stadium that normally doesn't have fans that does. These people are fired up because they're nationally relevant for the first time in almost 15 years. Don't turn the football over. Simple as that. Iowa State cleans it up, able to run the football. They can stop Kansas's run. Iowa State's going to go on the road, win this football game. Then you're looking at next week, Kansas State coming to town where you're going to be a favorite. Iowa State could be off to a 5-1 and one start after graduating all of that talent. You guys would all be thrilled with that. I know that I would be. That's my top five. Iowa State at Kansas. I'm picking the Cyclones in this one by 10. Listen, I know it sounds ambitious. We're going 30 to 20. Iowa State wins this one at Kansas on Saturday. 230 kick. Thanks for watching. Appreciate our friends at the Iowa Clinic for sponsoring our game day preview show here on the Cyclone Fanatic social media pages.